Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the African bush. It is all go, go, go this morning on the giraffe carcass. We have hyenas and jackals, exactly the same as yesterday. Wonderful. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lauren. I do have Rian on camera, and we are coming to you live from Medikwe Game Reserve, where all this chaos is happening right in front of us. The vultures are not here, but it looks like everyone else is, except the brownies. Ah, uh, I'm annoyed about that. But of course, just to let you all know, this is live and interactive. This is happening as you see it. So please do talk to us. Send in your questions, send in your comments, tell us what we need to know. You can do that by registering on the app or the website, whichever you prefer. And as long as you've registered, you'll be able to submit your questions. If you're watching on YouTube, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure you click that bell and hit subscribe. And it's been an action-packed morning already for the school drive, but it's not just me, of course, out on drive, bumbling along. We do have two beautiful girls over in Juma Private Game Reserve, Trishala and Taylor. Huh, three girls on drive this morning, not bad. And he's not a girl, but we do have the wonderful Chris over in Bridelands, the only male naturalist, that is. So I'm sure this morning's bumble is going to be absolutely wonderful and action-packed. Breezy sightings all around this morning. We've just been watching this hyena roll and rub itself on the giraffe's face. It's stopped now, unfortunately, but I've never seen anything like it. It was very disturbing and endearing at the same time. There we go. Looking for wild dogs, find a lioness. <laughs> like one does. Francine, every time you encounter lions on foot, it's different. Uh, my days as a trails guide, every time is different. Well, firstly, it depends on how you encounter them. If were you tracking them or did you accidentally encounter them? So there's a couple of scenarios there. You can either, you know, if you spot them well in time and they don't know about you, that's the easiest. You observe them and then ex extract slowly. Sometimes they see you, and they don't react, they just look at you and you just keep standing still and then slowly start moving out. Sometimes they might run away from you, which is probably most of the cases. But very often they will growl at you. And when that happens, that's when you stand still immediately. Keep facing the direction from where the growl is coming from. Try and see if you can see the lion. And then slowly move backwards with your group of guests. But I was quite excited because I haven't seen a lion in the, in the two weeks I've been here. And I thought I just saw one staring back at me. Oh, it's a leopard. <laughs> oh, big boy. I'm just going to stay here. Can we see your face? Binos out. Let's see your face. Yeah, I think that's tortoise pen. Yeah. It's definitely not more watties. <laughs> ah, James. Ah, oh, look at this. <laughs> What we were hoping for. I think I hear another vehicle coming through. That's just this is a massive block. They're 
really massive block. Um, and I'm sure, or I hope they were able to, to follow my tracks in. Huh, lovely. Okay. Look at these massive water monitors. There's two of them. Wow. So here we have two water monitors, sunbathing on a log. This is a much easier thing to look at rather than uh, chasing after dragonflies. And they are just sunbathing at the moment. That is a pretty big one. I think if you're watching the sunset safari yesterday, we found a rock, a uh, rock monitor, water monitor sitting up at uh, Chitwa Dam. And I think that the one that we saw then was actually even bigger. Than this one anyways so yeah so that one on the left is much larger still not uh, as big as what a, a water monitor uh, can get to but look at how they're just perfectly draped over a branch look just like a leopard <laughs> i feel like anything with a long tail that likes to come climb trees they all sort of sit a similar way and they aren't moving for anybody i thought that they were going to leap off of the branch but they are keeping a close watch on us you can see they're just sort of holding their gaze in our direction. We have a tree agama. It's been living in this tree or on this tree for some time. I've been seeing it a couple of times. It looks like a nice female. You can see that she's cryptically colored, blends in really well with the bark of this marula tree. Males are much more brightly colored. Her coloration is really, I mean, if she didn't move as we drove past, then I probably wouldn't have seen her. So let's see what the afternoon holds. I mean, this triagama, I've seen her a couple times here. Maybe we visit her again. Who knows? Big stuff, small stuff, unexpected sightings, whatever it is, we'll be ready. And of course, we'll have you all on board for it. And it's time to say goodbye to all of you. But we'll see you this afternoon. Thank you all for all your questions and your comments. And of course, your viewership. We'll see you in the afternoon. Bye for now.